Well, hello, my friends, and happy Sunday to you. Look at this cutie. Oh, my gosh. This was so much fun. Here are the supplies that we'll be using for today's project. So this piece was actually inspired by that magazine page that you see right there. Um, I saw it and I just fell in love with it and I knew that I needed to find the right thing, the right quote for it. So I'm starting today's project with an 8x10 MDF board that's been covered in gesso. It was an old piece that didn't work out and I'm trying to reduce, reuse all of my pieces. Um, and so I'm putting everything down, I'm putting that paper down with my Liquitex matte medium and I didn't know what I was doing when I started. So I kind of do things a little bit backwards and I kind of have to figure it out as I go, but I just knew that I wanted that piece at the top and I knew I wanted a candle in there and I had the quote. So I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go and I'm working my way to trying to blend that um, top piece of paper with the bottom and kind of match the color. So I've got some raw umber and some Van Dyke Brown out. And I've covered, I did a light coat of beige to kind of tone it down and give it kind of that sign of soft, yellow, warm feel. Now I'm going back over it with a combination of that raw umber, some beige, and the Van Dyke Brown. And I've got it kind of wet and loose and I'm just kind of putting it on and taking it off until I get what I feel like is kind of the right tone. So I'm trying to add some of that, those kind of dark, splotchy, um, that kind of feel throughout the piece. And I pulled some of that back, and as I pulled some of it back, some of the under layers revealed. So it, it, it took everything back to the bottom layer, and I positively loved it. Loved the look, loved that scratchy kind of feel. And I apologize for my voice. I've got the flu or a cold or something, so I apologize. But I'm pulling that back, and I just love it. But it still didn't quite match with the top. So I grabbed some archival ink and potting soil, and I'm just going to kind of go around the edges and kind of create, again, some of those dark areas throughout the piece. Bring it up into the paper on the top to just kind of make it feel a little And the archival ink that I'm using now is coffee. And once I got it down, I really did not like it. Um, so I went back over it with a layer of um, raw umber again and then put down the bottom paper. So now I'm using um, two uh, flu Deco Art Fluid Acrylics, Payne's Gray and teal and I wanted to really separate the top from the bottom make the 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 table area kind of stand out a little bit because it's all going to be very very neutral so I put down the blue and then we'll tone it down with a glaze So this is a glaze of um, raw umber and a glazing medium, Americana glazing medium, just to tone it down so that it stays in the family of kind of the neutrals, more warm, but still separates um, the top from the bottom. <clears throat> I'm going to add a little bit of gray to that. Just to, and it's a mixture of gray and raw umber, just again to kind of further give it a little bit more grunge. really working hard to try and blend everything together. So this is just a wash, raw umber and water. So 
So now I want to um, bring that those light sparkles, those wonderful light sparkles from that piece of paper down into the rest of the piece. And this is where it really actually unifies everything. So at this point, I wasn't going to be able to get everything to match the way that I wanted it to. But as soon as I started bringing those kind of sparkly light dots, circles, or whatever you want to call them, um, the magic, I call it magic. It just was so beautiful. Um, once I bring those down, it really does help bring the piece together. I'm just lifting up some of that paint um, so that they don't look bright and, and white and and little bit more and they look a little bit more subdued like the magazine page so now I'm using the same archival ink in um, potting soil and I'm going to extend the candle except I forgot and I went and you can see right now I'm realizing oh shoot so I just decided to go right on over the rest of it and put it down where I wanted it to be. And then I can kind of pick up some of the extra on the side. Luckily, I did it very light so that it wasn't too noticeable. But I did pick up some of the um, bottom portion that, that I stenciled in um, up with some alcohol. So I'm just painting in. I wanted the, it to be painted. I'll come back and stencil it, but I wanted it to be painted because I wanted those brush strokes in there for some texture. So I'm coming back in with the beige and a mixture of gesso, um, just for variation so that everything doesn't look the same. And now I'm gonna come back in and stencil over it just because I needed a little bit more bright um, to it but I still can see the brush strokes underneath. Just gonna paint in the base. This is um, raw, uh, or this is actually Van Dyke Brown. So now I am just adding a little bit more interest to the bottom because um, it just didn't have enough pizzazz for me. And I'll continue to work on that a little bit. This is the um, Scribble Marks stencil, Scribble Marks 2 stencil. And then I use the candle stencil for the candle. And I'm using Archival Ink Pad in Black. Now I'm adding uh, just a few more white highlights with the hearts. I love the hearts in there. They're super subtle, but you can see them. And it's, it, to me, it's like love, love floating, light floating up in love. Um, yeah, it had its own special meaning for me as I put the hearts in there. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Now I will fuss with the, with the candle a little bit and the flame. I wanted that flame to be bright and warm and I just kept at it was so small and I kept adding to it and adding to it because I that's the whole point of the piece is the light so I really wanted it to be a little bit different than the candle and really warm and so I'm gonna add a little bit here and there to the candle just to give it some depth that just I didn't want it to be flat I wanted there to be some highlights and some low lights on it adding some shading and that kind of thing on the candle base with some, um, I'm actually using Payne's Gray because that will bring that same color that's in the table into up into the piece a little bit. So 
So now I just needed a little bit more grunge. <laughs> I needed it to have just a little bit of something. So I'm using some raw umber and some Van Dyke Brown and some gesso mixture to just kind of, I just wasn't satisfied with, with it the way that it was. I like the pattern, I like the color, it just needed something more. And so for me, it's always a little bit of grunge. So now I'm going to make my flowers and this really kind of sets the tone for the piece. It makes it soft. It brings some additional color in, so, some interest. And so I'm using four different Arteza paints um, and they'll be listed in the supplies and the link to the supplies will be down below in the YouTube description box. And you can check that out there. But I'm just making my flowers with those four different um, colors along with some gesso. I'll also add in some green, some olive green in the Lucas paints. So now I'm going to put down my um, words that I have printed on tissue paper with my um, Liquitex Matte Medium. <clears throat> and once I get that down, I will shade everything. I will shade around um, the candle and the table and then I will also, and I'll be using my General's Charcoal Pencil. And then I will shade around the edges with a black soft pastel. And that is pretty much it, my friends. Um, super easy, super quick, but so easy and so fun. And I love integrating magazine pages into my pieces and using what inspires me in the moment. I just love that. 
I hope that you um, enjoyed today's project and that you subscribe and you like and um, so that you never miss a video. Stick around for the conversation at the end. It's a good one about your light and how important you are and your light is. All right, my loves. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and I will see you next week. Well, hello, loves, and happy Sunday to you. I just love this. This is just, uh, there are so many things that happen in this, in the process. It's just, anyway, I explained throughout the video, but, um, and I apologize for my voice. I've got a cold or the flu or whatever it happens every year because we're just so busy. But anyway, what inspired this piece was one of course the quote and then that piece that I started with that had that light and that sparkle to it that really brought kind of brought it all together and um, I just positively love it I love the I love the background it was fantastic I had to work through a couple of things um, to get it to where I wanted it to to be but I just positively love it so um, one thing before I dive into the, the meaning, I just want to say um, thank you for uh, so many of you got um, some goodies in the sale and I'm just so grateful for your love and your support and your kind words. I love the notes that you leave on your orders and um, all of the comments and everything and although maybe I don't get um, back to all of the comments like a physical comment back to you. Um, I do like the comments and um, I read every single one of them and I'm just so incredibly grateful for this community and for your support and um, you help support not only my family but three other families as well, um, my staff, so I'm just so so grateful. Anyway, so now, this says, there is not enough darkness <clears throat> in all the world to put out the light of even one small candle. And sometimes, I know for me, I feel like I'm this one little tiny candle, this little tiny flame trying to be a bright spot in a crazy, crazy world. And sometimes it doesn't feel like it's worth it. But I want to remind you today that your light your goodness, your soul, and the things that you bring to the world do, they, they do work. They, you are seen. And even though it may seem dark all around you, your light, gosh, we need your light. We need your wisdom and your kindness and your love and all the things that you bring to the world, to your family, to your work, to your relationships. We need those. I need those. Um, like I said, all those kind comments, those keep us going over here as we're putting hundreds of orders together. So all those things. And all of us, when we get a comment or a kind word or whatever, we're just like, oh. Um, so your little tiny light does make a difference. It makes a difference in all the areas of your life. And so sometimes it feels like it's so dark in whatever situation we're in, whether it's relationships or work or um, just life in general, um, the society we're living in. I mean, it all can feel super overwhelming and dark, but your light makes a difference. And don't ever, ever try to put it out, to hide it, to um, 
not shine bright because oh my gosh we need you we need your goodness we need your light we need your wisdom we need all of those things that you bring I need them our, my staff everybody we need them and the people around you need them and um, even though so often we can bring our own light into a situation and we may never ever see the fruit of that we may never see that for in our lifetime even but your one encouraging word at the grocery store or at work or um, to your grandkids or to whomever that one single beautiful word or light that you bring will have changed or impacted someone and you may never know it and they have changed you have changed their life forever it only takes a small small act of goodness and kindness and love and this light um, to make a difference in somebody's life and so don't give up don't feel like ah, oh, what's the use because we just don't know we don't know what our words um, of goodness can actually do we may never see it so keep shining my loves keep shining your light keep um, shining your light in your work in your creative um, ness in in whatever area that you are in that you have wisdom and light to give keep going it's so so important because if there's enough of us sharing light and goodness and kindness and all of those wonderful things it will make a difference all right, my loves, I hope your Sunday is awesome and wonderful and restful and that you shine your light in whatever aspect that you can today. Shine bright, my loves. Shine, shine, shine. I need you. The world needs you. You are so, so important. All right, my loves, have a wonderful Sunday and always, always know that you are loved.